but I mean, what they're feeling and their downside is our upside. Oh yeah. Because I'm feeling nothing. Best spot to be yes. is like way back here behind the gun. So or on the gun. I would say on the, the gun. best spot. All right. That'll get your attention. The Christensen Arms MCR, Modern Carbon Rifle. All right. This is Willie. If you don't know Willie, you need to get to know her because I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> she has the sickest nails I've ever seen. And she does them herself. It's true. Anyway. It's true, multifaceted. Yeah, multifaceted. All right, back to the MCR because that's what we're here about. That's it what is. we're going to do. All right, Willie, talk to me about the purpose of this gun and what you guys are doing with it. Yeah, absolutely. So. Christensen Arms, our, our birth is essentially in carbon fiber. Yeah. We, we are out of the aerospace industry. Carbon fiber is in our blood. We were the first ones to do a carbon fiber barrel. So with that, we wanted to make an ode to carbon fiber. And I, you cannot <laughs> get more than this gun. You could get more if you did the I, action in carbon fiber, but I don't think that's a thing. You'd have to take it pretty far. We'll work on that one. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. But also with this one, like when you look at our lineup, You've got the MPR, yep. which is more of the chassis style, looks more tactical, very, very modern. And then you've got the Ridgeline. The Ridgeline's more of a traditional sporter style stock. Yeah. And somewhere in the middle, we had this gap. Everybody wants a different flavor of ice cream. Oh yeah. This is a perfect flavor of ice cream for somebody who wants that in between. So what would that flavor of ice cream be? That flavor of ice cream is somebody who wants something that's a little bit more modern. We've got the hybrid grip angle here. We've got some of the bells and whistles like QD attachment points adjustability on the cheek piece, but it's ultra, also ultra light. Oh, it's, yeah. it's just over six and a half pounds. Yeah, 6.7 so pounds is the starting weight of this yeah. rifle. And you guys offer a number of different flavors. We do. 6.5 PRC, 6.5 Creedmoor, which what this is. 308, 300 Win Mag, 300 PRC. Seven, seven PRC. Seven PRC. Yep. I think that's all of them, Yeah, right? that's it for now. Okay, for, for now, because for now. Christensen is absolutely known for- Yep, there'll be more. Offering lots. We like to offer you whatever you want. <laughs> they are. All right, hand lapped, which yep. is so cool. Match, match chamber. Yep. Yeah, match chamber. Um, Remington 700. Yep, it's a Remington pattern. 700 style action, yep. which, you know, there's some people who love it, some people who don't love it. If you don't love it, we've got our all new Evoke. Uh, that's on our proprietary action. It's got a 60 degree bolt throw, but since this is on a Remington 700, it's your 90 degree, but it means you got so many accessories right, that you can add you to can it do. that are just right there on the shelf. I love it. I'm enough, enough talky talky, let's shooty shooty. Yeah, let's see what you got. All right. I forget which one am I shooting again? Uh, oh yeah, 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 the coyote. Nice. See? It's easy when you have a gun this accurate. And what we're doing is we're actually progressing to stations that are less stable. Right. And the gun will do its job if we are able to do ours. Yeah, absolutely. And that's all done possible by getting the right comb height, the right length of pull, the trigger. Talk about the trigger for a second. Yeah, so on this one, we're really proud. It's an adjustable trigger tech trigger. You can do from about two and a half pounds to five and a half pounds. So again, we like those different flavors. Yep. Whatever you want to adjust that to, you can. Um, like you said, length of pull, you can do with spacers. It's yep. push button adjustability on the cheek piece. It's a free floated barrel. So again, with that accuracy there. Yep. Um, and if you do want to move to a different station and you want different stability options, obviously you got a bipod yep. on here with the Picatinny rail. You can and really I love the adjustability of this gun and you can modernize it to how you want to shoot. Yep. And that is why, that's why, honestly, I switched out the magazines mm -hmm. because in the, in the Magnum rounds, it's a three round, three yep. rounds. Yep. And in the short actions, it's going to be a little four rounder. Yep, exactly. And that's, this is very cute and it lies flush. It so when you're flush, hunting, which is nice, yeah, but yeah, but if you're hunting out west or something or maybe in Oklahoma, like I like to do, <laughs> and you have a lot of hogs, I would say an AI style magazine that holds more than three or four rounds would probably be your best option. All right. Okay. I guess My it's turn your turn again. 
it's you no know, it's all you it's okay. all you perfect and that's what i like about this gun is because a kid can get into this yeah. because it's lightweight and it does not have a lot of felt recoil no because of everything you're adding here it's a fft stock carbon fiber full carbon yeah, fiber stock carbon fiber and, and I, that break on pause, it pause because we got to talk about the carbon fiber just a little bit more yeah. we put this on safe and say a couple of things perfect this is our flash forge technology. It looks different than any other carbon fiber. It really does. See. Like it has this cool chopped look to it going on, kind of catches the sun a little bit. Yeah. But what's awesome about this, and this is proprietary to us. So the flash forge technology manufacturing method that we use allows this shell to be so durable and so strong and the structural integrity comes from this shell. Yeah. So we can use a really lightweight material on the inside. God. Whereas others, sometimes when they use a carbon fiber stock, it's not quite as durable. So some of that rigidity has to come with the filler okay. material. Yep. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why these are so light because yeah. we've perfected that carbon fiber shell. It is. And yeah. I mean, and the carbon fiber at Bell, yep. but the break on it. Yes. And I have to feel, I feel sorry, a little bit sorry for our cameraman back there. <laughs> They're getting <laughs> Because they get a they whoosh get of air and they get everything they behind there because this break is so efficient. But I mean, what they're feeling and their downside is our upside. <laughs> oh yeah. Because I'm feeling nothing. Best spot to be yes. is like way back here behind the gun. So or on the gun. I would on say the gun. best spot to be. Well, yeah. yeah. I would rather be shooting anyway. Yeah, exactly. But I'll let you take okay, this one. Okay, perfect. Thanks. No problem. Ladies. Yeah, you're such a gentleman. Ladies KJ. first and last. And last. Best for last. Oh. So you totally shot the wrong target. Oh. Uh, you shot the smallest I went for target. the smallest one. I thought that's what we were doing. <laughs> that is exactly what we're doing. I love it. <laughs> like, that's why this, this guy wasn't rehearsed because I told her to shoot the deer and she actually ended up well, shooting the smallest gopher down there. It seemed too easy. See? Sorry, not sorry. When you blend everything together correctly in a hunting gun, and that's that's gotta be, yeah. that's important. And they have carbon fibered this thing out. So like if you're on an NRL hunter match, any type of match mm -hmm. that is like, you have to meet weight Yep. 6.7 pounds starting weight. That allows you to get away from with a suppressor, heavier optic if you choose, and more rounds. Yeah. The Christensen Arms, MCR. MCR, 2,400 bucks. That's it? That's it, yep. There. So you still got room in the bank for all these other things you wanna add. You got to get a load of this one. To see all of Gun Talk's content, go to guntalk.com, guntalktv.com, or sign up for the Gun Talk newsletter.